a memory palace is a powerful tool that can help you memorize anything from a grocery list to the books you have read. In the simplest of words, a memory palace is a place or location where you dump information to retrieve it back at the time of need. In this video, you will learn how to build a perfect memory palace using your body. I guess you have never heard that you can use your body to create a memory palace. Not only your body, but you can also use a car, bike, school, street, work area or your house. Anything that you know very well can be used as a memory palace. This video will focus on using your body parts as a memory palace. In future videos, we will expand this idea to create other types of memory palaces. Welcome to Hyperquick Brain, where you will learn the science of effective learning, memory improvement and increasing your reading speed. Without further ado, let's dig into the details. To understand this concept, you need to know how memories are stored. If you are learning anything new, that information is moved to the short-term memory. That means you will forget it pretty quickly. If you combine new information with something already in your long-term memory, that information will be moved to the medium-term memory. That means you will be able to recall it for a longer period of time. If you perform an active recall of the medium-term memory, that information will be moved to the long-term memory where it will be stored permanently. For example, if you are reading a book without any memory techniques, you will forget it the next day. You might have already noticed this before. But if you combine the information from the book with something that you already know, such as locations on your body, you will be able to remember the book for a longer period of time. And if you perform an active recall, that information will be moved permanently to the long-term memory. As a demonstration, let's try to memorize these five items. Hockey, gift, shop, piano, chair. I will repeat these, try to commit them in your memory. Hockey, gift, shop, piano, chair. Pause the video and see how many you get right. Do you get them in the correct order? Now let's start. We will use your body as the memory palace. This will act as a foundation for future memory palaces. Let me introduce a concept called a hook. Hooks are locations or places inside your memory palaces. They are used to hang or hook information. By remembering the hooks, you can remember the information. Let's define the hooks as toes, knees, hips, belly button, throat and forehead. To make it simple, we are using only six hooks starting from the toes to the forehead. Let's construct a story. The first item on the list is hockey. The first hook is toes. We have to link hockey and toes. Let's assume there is a huge hockey stick. Imagine the hockey stick towering above the buildings. Imagine your body has grown in size and it has grown huge just like a mountain. Let's do it together and try to visualize the scenes in your mind's eye. The hockey falls on your toes. Your toes are severed. You are bleeding. You are crying out in pain. Feel the pain. The next hook is the knee. The next item is the gift. Imagine you tie the gift box to your knees. You are walking around with the gift box dangling from your knees. Imagine the gift box hitting buildings as you walk past them. You are damaging and destroying buildings as you walk past them. The next item is shop. Visualize there are millions of shops on your hips. 
all the shop owners are fighting trying to sell their goods. There is blood everywhere. Make the visualization extreme and bizarre. The next item is piano. The next hook is the belly button. Imagine your belly button is filled up with water. Since your body is huge, the belly button becomes a leg. Visualize there is a huge piano swimming inside the leg. Visualize a living piano with its hands and legs. The next item is a chair and the hook is the throat. Imagine a huge chair pressing against your throat. You can't breathe. You are gasping for air. Feel the helplessness. Let's recap each item and each hook again. A huge hockey stick falls and severs your toes. You are dangling a gift box from your knees. There are millions of shops on your hips. A huge piano is swimming inside your belly button. A chair is pressed against your throat. If you recollect each item on each hook, you get the list. This is a simple demonstration, but this technique's power can be expanded to remember an entire book. We will cover those in future videos. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the training videos. But you must master this technique before moving to the more advanced techniques. So how to practice? Go to the website www.hyperquickbrain.com. Click on Tools. Under Tools, click Random Words Beginner. Enter the number of words to 5. Click on Generate. This generates 5 words. Don't bother about the timing at this point. Use your body to remember those 5 words. Or you can use your car. You can assign the hook starting from the front as the bonnet, driver's seat, passenger seat, back trunk, and so on. Don't use a complicated memory palace at this point. Make it simple. We will cover those in future videos. However, start utilizing the spear method to make your images more memorable. A detailed video has already been created explaining the spear method. You can watch the video from here or from the link in the description. Finally, congratulations on learning something helpful today. Subscribe to receive your bi-weekly training videos.